Well, hello and welcome back to uh, my kitchen. My um, my daughter's been asking me to make this um, dip, something that she saw on TikTok, and. Uh, I promised her that I would. And that's what we're gonna do together right now. It's a uh, buffalo chicken dip. You know, it's actually a little bit amazing how uh, I'm gonna get a couple more fun. Cloves of this here garlic and uh, I'm gonna use a little bit more because I'm also gonna set some aside for the shrimp ceviche that I'm gonna be making also and putting up on wonderful tostadas. So, join me. You see that one handed knife skills.
gonna use the green, the green onion. That's how you been doing. I hope uh, your day is going well. could be worse. I uh, literally just got a call from the missus saying that she got into a little fender bender on the highway on her way home from work. So, like I said, things could be better and things could be worse because uh, I got a call. You get what I'm saying? I got a call from her saying she was in an accident rather than someone else telling me. And then my uh, wife is on the road a lot. And that's always a concern of mine being on the road. There's just a lot of a lot of crazy people out there, and uh, not everyone is as um, careful. So let's see how I can angle this so you can see. She's a good driver. I'm not, I don't worry about her. It's about the many people that are out there. I remember a number of years ago, she was in a uh, car accident once again. And a person that was uh, epileptic had a seizure on the road. the chances of something like that you know and then she's had a hit and run before so yeah absolutely this is definitely something that uh is on my mind and so but like i said could be better could be worse i praise the lord this I got a phone call and it was from her and she's well and you know the car's scratched but it's still intact and um, you know they're gonna have to wait she's gonna have to wait around and you know, she Just happy to do that. You know, you 
not really doing anything but being inconvenienced now, so. I will take that. Day of the week. As opposed to turn it So anyway. Alright, so this is uh much of this is gonna be for the ceviche. And what I'm doing right now is just getting kinda of everything together for both the ceviche and for the dip. sucked into one of those algorithm things and she saw one video and now all of a sudden all she sees is this dip and so in her mind it's the newest craze but really it's the algorithm showing her over and over again something that she saw but whatever it is um, she has a desire for this thing in a strong one and got me just thinking about our American consumerism and uh, advertisements and our appetites if you would um, things of that nature and even the, the psychology of it all you know TikTok and, and not only TikTok but all of these videos, utilizing the psychology of people you know driving up perceived value, excitement, and, you know, FOMO, and things of that nature. It seems that they, they buy into it, hook, line, and sinker. And uh, I remember this one time my daughters had me looking all over the place for this green algae drink or something like that. Uh, I think it, it was an algae or some, something like that. Green seaweed, something, something or other. And I had looking all around, all around, all around for this thing. And then, well, of course, TikTok said it was a must have all cool kids. <laughs> and uh, we looked around finally and I found it online. And I'm looking at the price of this thing and I'm going, hold up, I've seen these things. These things are only a couple of hours in the store. A couple of weeks later, you can't even find it. And it's triple the price. Yeah, that is our American consumerism at its best. Well, let's come on. 
back over here, hey. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm not gonna do no big editing for no stuff. Y'all can hang with me. We're just gonna make this real and authentic and raw. surprising because years past I would be looking at oh my goodness the news stations as soon as I got home I wanted to be in the know and and all of that and I'm telling you that right now I'm like the most at peace regarding um You know, the political landscape and all that kind of stuff. I remember all the uh, the anger, the fighting. Oh, I'm, I know it's out there. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that some of that was in me. Or even in how right now it's just like I'm just totally absent from all of it. It's a world that I don't even know of right now. I know it exists. But uh, I'm not engaging in that world any longer, and I found much greater peace as a result. You know, now don't get me wrong, I want to be up to date on current affairs and, and all of that, and I'm not saying anything wrong with that, and then there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't want to be consumed. You know what I'm saying? By things that I can't really control anyway. And uh, so, hopefully, whoever gets in there, well, I'll just say, say this. I don't, I don't have much, uh, I don't put too much hope in any person. Period. The system's flawed. And even people with the greatest ambition sometimes can't work against a system that works against itself. So. Anyway, this is the closest to politics you probably got to get me to speak. And this politics is really about no politics. I don't want none of it. None of it. So, all right. Now, I am going to put these little... into little chunks such as this. Alright, so nice little chunks. Like that. Because these shrimp are going to be served on top of these uh, So, just right now, getting my little 
shrimp up in there. But as I'm talking about the, the TikTok, the trends and, and all of that, it's just, just amazing how they can get you going one week and then bought that thing. It sat in my fridge forever. <laughs> they drank it a couple times, whatever. You know, it's it's no magic pill. And uh, spend all that money and time. Something that they weren't even going to use. And that's happened time and time again. I suppose it'll probably continue to happen. So. I guess that's just how life is. Jokes like that, you see. So we're uh, just getting out of here. We're gonna this the acid from the lemons will actually cook the shrimp all by itself. Um, but my kids need to know that it was cooked first for some reason. So uh, it's cooked first, then we're gonna serve each head. No harm, no foul. Traditionally, just let the uh, the acid do the cooking. It cooks it up real good. Naturally. Alright, almost done this. I want to get that going for the wife it calls back. She's in a week. I know I'm gonna be getting called soon. Just to uh, just to talk a little. All right, so there we go. We got, we got that, all right? So now to that, I'm gonna add garlic. I'm gonna add the tomatoes, all of this good stuff into there. All right, I'm just gonna leave, let's see. I'm gonna do it like this. Don't do this much. For the dip. Everything else.
already just without adding anything else it's already good but we're going to add some extra version olive oil going to add like about two tablespoons and then this whole lemon. All right, so what I'm going to do now is just add, uh, you all see me use this off, and this has a little complete seasoning, but uh, I like to just add a little bit of that. Of course, a little bit of um, black pepper, black pepper also. Is really a garlic fan, so I'm gonna just add a little bit more garlic powder. And then, the star of the show. It's a little bit of uh, sea salt. Here's the buffalo chicken dip. Now, I have the uh, chicken there. And for that chicken, I'm gonna take me a bottle. Thank you. 
makes everything better. Alright, so I got that pop is roaring. Let me go. Somebody here. Oh, yeah. She's here. She's hungry. She's ready. Now she's the inspiration for this dish today. For this dish, she is the inspiration for it. Here she is. Hold on. Where's she Happy. going? You're gonna edit that, isn't it? I, I, I. This is a no editing video. This is a no editing video. So, okay. So that's her. She inspired this. She wanted me to. So I'm gonna let that cook now. I'm gonna take the cream cheese. That's cooking. Get this cream cheese. So I got two packages of cream cheese. Right? Oh yeah, I meant to add a little bit of olive oil to this sauce. My dear, so that one in there, it's the cream cheese stuff. So let's tell you what, but I love cream cheese. I like cream cheese on bagels, old fashioned way, you know what I mean? Can't, can't beat it. A little bit of cream cheese on a cinnamon raisin bagel. Mm. Mm. That's old fashioned. Young kids, y'all know. <laughs> All right. So, I think we're going to. What's going on, those two? No, just one thing. She cut that one thing. Cream cheese is in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at my fingers, y'all. I'm washing my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm washing my hands. I'm washing my hands. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, 
chain around the air. They has beat. They has beat has been a good friend of the family for many years. A good friend. A good household. It's starting to come to get a lot of something. Oh, yeah. Okay, here it is. Coming together. Now, the only thing I'm going to do more is add. A little bit of this creamy ranch. I'm gonna add about half of this. About another half of this. And then I'm just gonna let it sit and cook down right here on the stove top for about 15 minutes. And I'll see you back in a second. All right, y'all caught me tasting a little bit, but right now, I'm gonna take a look. This thing has been cooking for a little while. You see everything is incorporated nicely into the buffalo dip. So the only thing I added to that is a little bit of sugar. A little bit of sugar, I added about a tablespoon of sugar. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just plate up. <laughs> some of these chips then add some of this uh, right here to the side There you go. See that? See that? Mm. Nice. Fresh. Natural. Mm. A little piece of that fell. I'm gonna have to get that. But, um, hey. Thank you. Once again, <laughs> I keep dropping the pieces on here. I better go for my wife comes and sees this food on the floor, so. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. Take care. Food's ready, y'all.